The Allow Right Click extension is an extension which re-enables the possibility to use the context menu with the copy, paste and text selection on websites that prevent them. You may find that you visit some websites and try to copy content or right click and nothing appears because it's been disabled. The purpose behind this extension is that it re-enables this. So to start, we first add the extension to our browser. After we've added the extension, we can then pin it to the toolbar, simply by left clicking on the jigsaw piece we see here and then left clicking the pin. We can also set this to be enabled in incognito mode. To do this, we simply select the three dots and click on manage extension. We scroll down and you'll see there is the option here to allow in incognito. Now we have the extension enabled inside our toolbar. So let's visit a website to demonstrate how this works. So as you can see here, we're visiting a website where it's demonstrating the functionality. So if we try to right click this module, we can see at the moment it isn't letting us do it. We can right click outside of it because it's different, but inside the model here, we can't right click. So we go ahead and toggle this on by simply clicking. And now we right click and it allows us to do so. And here we can see the right click functionality is returned. If we turn this off, we can see we can't right click. Inside the extension, we also have an options panel. Here we can allow to automatically activate. So for example, you can put a URL in here so you don't need to turn it on and off. And then we see other options after this. This means you can easily configure it so it always works on a certain website or domain name, whether that's the whole URL or whether it's part of a URL, a subdomain or a specific page. We simply put that inside here and that works. Not only does this extension give you the ability to unlock the right click functionality, but it also adds additional ability for us to save images from websites which typically block this or videos as well. To demonstrate this, let's look at Instagram. Now at the moment, when we visit Instagram, we can see that you have an image here. If we try to right click the image, we just see the options to view the page source. So if you wanted to grab this image, for example, you'd have to go view page source and then try to find the image here, or you would have to inspect the element and then open up the div. And then here you can see the image and then grab the URL and then go to that directly. And there's the image. We can then save from here. This is a bit cumbersome. Look what happens when we turn the right click functionality on. So if we right click normally, this is what we see. If we turn the extension on and now right click, you can see we can save the image directly from here now. So this image is now recognized, making it incredibly simple to download. Let's have a look at the video version. If we look at a video, when we right click a standard, nothing happens. We can't engage with the content. However, if we go ahead and turn on the extension and now right click, you can see we see video controls, including the ability to download the video directly as well. So this extension is multi-purposed. Not only does it allow you to right click and bring that context menu back when certain websites remove it or remove the ability to copy content, but it also interacts with other content and media as well, such as imagery and video.